Today I am talking about heat equation. Symbolically we can write heat equation this way Q equal to M into S into DT. This is the symbol which represents heat equation. Now I want to mention the meaning of each of the symbols. Sometimes what may come in examination, write down heat equation and write the units of each of the physical quantity used in the heat equation. That's why in that case, we have to write full form, not the symbolical form. We can write in, in place of Q what quantity of heat. quantity of heat and if this is equal to m means what mass and s means a specific a specific heat capacity and dt means difference of temperature Now, one another matter you have to remember, this difference of temperature means when the final temperature, we if we have final temperature and initial temperature, when initial temperature is subtracted from final temperature, we'll get difference of temperature. Sometimes this equation uh, may be given somewhere like this is also, like this also, Q equal to M into S into T. This T represents difference of temperature. Somewhere it may be written S equal to M into S into T. S means heat gain or heat lost. Whatever it is, this is the symbolical representation of heat equation and this is the word representation uh, of heat equation. Now I want to mention the unit of each of the uh, each of the symbol. Let's talk about the unit. Quantity of heat. Heat is measured in what? Joule. That's why its unit is Joule. We can use this symbol G. And mass. It, it is represented by kilogram. I mean to say mass is measured in kilogram. A specific heat capacity. Joule per kg degree Celsius and difference of temperature is measured in degree Celsius. These are the units of the symbol which are used in heat equation. Now let's go to another point. How it came? If someone says that uh, prove heat equation, if you have to prove like this, prove Q equal to M S D T. If we are told to prove Q equal to M S D T, then how can we do this? We, we can say this way. All of we know that quantity of heat contained in a body Quantity of heat contained in a body is directly proportional to directly proportional to the mass and directly proportional to the mass and temperature of the body. Different, we can say difference of temperature also, mass and temperature of the body. This statement can be written in mathematical form also. What is the meaning of this saying? Quantity of heat, which can be represented by Q. Q is directly proportional to mass of the body and the same Q is in 
directly proportional to difference of temperature of the body. Now, Q is directly proportional to mass of the body. This can be taken as first equation and this can be taken as second equation. And we can combine these two equations. Combining equation 1 and 2. Combining equation 1 and 2. What we get? We get... Q is directly proportional to M and into DT. Okay, we get this much. But using this, we cannot calculate because there is proportional sign which must be converted to is equal to sign. And if any quantities are proportional to each other, then there must be a constant. And we, if we take that constant in this uh, expression then proportional sign can be converted to equal to sign if we want to convert this into equal to sign we must take the constant which involves between these quantities and this constant is taken as a specific heat capacity and that's why q equal to uh, proportional sign removed is equal to this is constant and other are there m into dt and we have to mention here s is specific heat capacity a specific heat capacity usually we write this like this q equal to m into s into dt this way we can see our equation is flipped Q equal to M S D T. This is heat equation and we can prove this equation this way. Okay, this much for today.